This is Ian, founder of In 30 Minutes Guides. Today, how to add a visible watermark to a PDF using Adobe Acrobat Pro. If this video helps, please subscribe and like the video and let's get started. So I am in Adobe Acrobat Pro. This is a subscription version of the Adobe software that lets you do things you can't do in the ordinary Adobe Acrobat reader, including adding a watermark. This is a disclaimer. I wanna add text in the background. It kind of looks like it's in the background that just says sample on it. That's all I wanna do. And Oftentimes you'll see things like not official or do not do not copy, not for sale or whatever. I'm just gonna do something simple like that, sample. I'm gonna to try to make the sample text kind of be going diagonally from the bottom left to the top right. And you can do that using this particular software. This is how to do it. And let's get started. And actually what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna make a copy of this particular file just because if I make a mistake, I can go back to the original. So I'm gonna say sample watermarked and then I'm going to right click on it, open with Adobe Acrobat. If you're using a Windows or a Mac machine, I often urge people when they're opening PDFs not to double click on it, but to actually to right click and then make sure you select Adobe Acrobat. And the reason is, is because oftentimes it'll be a different program that your PC or your Mac is set up to open PDFs in. So for the Mac, it's preview. For Windows PCs, I've often found it's a browser such as Microsoft Edge. So make sure you're opening it in Adobe Acrobat Pro you should see these options here on the left. These are different tools you can use in Adobe Acrobat Pro. If you're using a Windows version, you might see them on the top, but the, the, the idea is the same. What you want is edit a PDF. That contains the watermarking feature. So I've just opened the, P, uh, the editing feature. You can see that the text is now kind of boxed in. Everything has a box on it. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, there's nothing that says watermark here. If you don't see watermark, make sure that you click this link that says more and then watermark should be visible. So let's do that. Watermark add. And you get this, basically all this, this tool dialogue to add your watermark. So what you wanna do here is in the field that says text, you wanna put whatever the text is gonna say. So I'm gonna say sample. And you can see that it previews sample. So if I press okay, you can see that the watermark is kind of right there. Now let's get out of edit mode. The problem is it's too dark and it's not diagonal and I don't like the positioning. So I wanna change that so it's, it's easier to work with. So it doesn't, it doesn't like stand out like that. I want it to be like kind of a light gray and you can barely notice it, but it'll be visible to people. So let's go back to the edit tool. So I don't see it over here. So I'm gonna click all tools edit a PDF, more, watermark, and then update. So you can see it shows the text again. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna change the color. So it gives you all these options like RGB sliders. There's an option here that says pencils, which is I think the easiest way to do it. So I'm gonna choose this like uh, mercury. Now the problem is that's not visible at all. So maybe what I wanna do here is go back to black, or the Karish that they call it, and then see if I can find something where I can, I can, I can fade it. It's not letting me do that. Oh, opacity, here it is. So I'm gonna change the opacity. 48%, still a little bit too dark. I'm gonna make it like, yeah, like that, 23%. The other thing you can see, it says appearance rotation, negative 45 degrees, 45 degrees custom. So let's see what happens when I do 45 degrees. That's actually what I want, okay? If I did negative 45 degrees, it would be the other way around. So I'm gonna do it 45 degrees. If I wanted to be custom, I could select custom and then maybe like lower it a little bit like that. That looks okay, 34 degrees. Uh, and then location appear behind page, appear on top of page. I think if I click behind, or on top, it doesn't really make much of a difference. And then the other thing you can do is you can adjust the positioning. So it says vertical distance inches from center. So right now it's zero inches from center, vertical and horizontal. If I wanted to make this maybe go up a little bit, what I would do is I'd be adjusting the vertical distance. Let's just say one inch, that makes it go up. If I did negative one, it would make it go down. So I want it to go up. So maybe what I'm gonna do is do 1.5. So that's right over the disclaimer text. And I think that looks good. So I'm gonna click okay. And you can see 
the watermark is there. Let's click out of edit mode and I close the edit panel. And that's actually kind of what I want. And I could go back and I could fiddle with the text so it's maybe fainter or bigger or smaller or a different font or whatever. But this is the basic idea for adding a watermark. There's other things you can do with watermarks in Adobe Acrobat Pro, including using images. But I found that uh, the doing things like that, it's not as intuitive. Things happen like one time I tried to use a logo for a watermark and put it in the background and I couldn't get it to be opaque. It was just basically sticking right there. Uh, sometimes I've seen people put watermarks very small in the bottom corner or something like that, and that's fine too, but that's the basic idea. You're using Adobe Acrobat Pro edit mode, selecting the watermark tool, and then fiddling around until it looks the way that you want. And then when I distribute this particular PDF to people, make sure that I save it first, um, they'll, when they open it up, they'll see the same watermark. If this video helped, please take a moment to like it and subscribe. I have links to more resources in the description, and I'll see you next time.